and welcome back to Airgun Replicas 77. Today we're looking at the PT-92 by KWC. Uh, this is another gun that you've probably seen in different versions. There's a Swiss Arms version of this, I think also called the PT-92. Um, there's the GSG-92, I think, as it was initially uh, released as. Um, and this is just the basic, kind of non-branded, if you will, uh, manufacturer's version this is the kwc 92 so K kwc make all of them um as you can see here kwc um and this is i quite like this version because there's a lot less of that busy writing so from certainly on the left hand side there it's a lot cleaner um co2 4.5 millimeter bb shooter as you can see there just bbs uh, i think in different areas, there's a full auto version of this, uh, at which point the safety the safety catch here, uh, it has two settings here, but I think I think one of these would go to full auto, but it doesn't function um, in this country. So it's either just safe or fire, basically. A um, little bit of a walk around, so you've got metal everywhere, it's all metal apart from the grips, metal hammer, metal trigger, uh, metal slide catch release, safety, maybe plastic. Um, that might be plastic, to be fair. Um, but nice weighty gun, feels quite heavy. Um, full metal magazine, I'll show you that in a second got the a little bit of a rail here if you wanted to put a torch or something on there a bit of a picatinny rail again quite subtle though quite nice um sights wise you've got a dot at the back there which is quite unusual and then you can see that aligns up with your front sight so that's okay does the job i'd probably prefer there to be two at the back there and even one at the front but um it does it does what it needs to do um magazine wise full metal magazine um you've got your hole in the bottom there for your allen key you just unscrew that pop in your co2 you can see it through this window so you just slide it in through the bottom you can see your co2 there this spring is particularly fearsome that's a really strong spring um Unfortunately, there's nowhere to load the BBs up here, so the BBs have to go in the top. And what I find is the last one you put in still sort of sits proud at the top, so you just need to give it a little extra nudge just to seat it properly um, before releasing the spring, otherwise that last one sometimes flies out of the top. Um, but decent magazine. Again, nice and heavy. Uh, sits in there. And gun's fully filled strippable. Um, if you want to do that, it's very straightforward. So I'll see if I can do it on camera. Take the magazine out there. Uh, and then you have a button here on this side. Push that button in and then flip that round. Slide comes off, uh, leaving you just with the lower receiver there. And the upper, you can go further. You can take the all the gubbins out of here you can take that out and take the barrel out and have a look at that and do what you want to do there but basically you don't need to do that really you shouldn't really unless you get a jam you won't really need to bother yourself with that as long as you're using a bit of helgen oil or something when you uh, load it up with co2 it should be all right this gun should uh, should look after itself really it's bb shooting so it's not going to get coated up with lead or anything like that um and then just get the slide and it back on all the way there. Yep, and then put the switch back up, let it roll forward, and you're good to go. Um, yeah, really nice gun, really nice pistol. Uh, put the magazine back in there. As I say, it's very heavy, feels very weighty. It's it doesn't feel rattly. It feels nice and sturdy it's quite a comfortable gun to hold uh should show you the other side as well while i'm here uh again you've got like your safety there so it's ambidextrous safety a bit of serial number there your kwc markings 
Uh, I do like the fact that there's very little writing on this gun. Uh, it, it doesn't really bother me when there's, you know, all sorts of writing and stuff and warnings and things. It doesn't bother me massively, but I do prefer it um, when there's a bit less and it's a bit more, a bit more of a clean, clean looking thing. Um, I think this costs about £120 UK, uh, something like that, about £120 UK. You might be able to get it cheaper now because it's quite, it's not a new release. It's been around for a long time now. It does feel really nice. I'm really pleased with this this pistol. Um, and you should get, my sort of standard answer, you should get around 300 to 330 feet per second from this, I think. Uh, it's perfectly adequate for a bit of back garden plinking, a bit of tin shooting. Well, I mean, you can shoot at targets and that's a bit of fun, especially if you've got the, uh, the sort of the yellow targets that show where you've hit, but you don't expect it to be super accurate it's not a pellet pistol it's just bb but there you go that's the kwc pt 92 hope you enjoyed the video feel free to like subscribe so on and so forth and i'll see you next time thanks very much